Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a reading on Mark Lee and Hey Chan from the K-pop boy group NCT 127. And this will be a reading, a quick little reading to kind of check up and see how their bond is like these days and what's their true bond, okay? Their true energy around their bond, okay? So let's get started. We'll pull the card for Mark side. Okay, so we got the King of Cups in reverse. From Mark side, and, and then let's pull one from Hey Chen side. Okay, and then we got the Seven of Wands in reverse for Hey Chen. And then let's pull a bond for the overall bond between them. Okay, and then we got the Hermit. Okay, so by the look of, looks of these cards, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really see a genuine friendship or something—a friendship where they're actually connecting. Because from Mark's side, it kind of looks like he's a bit redrawn, you know, acting a bit cold and distant towards um, Hey Chan. Like he's feeling very, you know, moody type of thing. I'm kind of just getting that he really don't, I guess, care so much to connect with Hey Chan for real. If we're being honest, it's kind of like, he, him and Hey chan I already get the vibe, like, with their energy. They don't really connect well with as individuals. Like, I see their personas is two different personas where it's kind of like they may clash more than actually get along. So, I feel like with the hermit in the middle, it's kind of like, oh, so we just stay away from each other. We just focus on ourselves rather than, you know, me focusing on him and him focusing on me type of thing. That's the type of energy I kind of get between the two as of right now. I'm not really getting a true established friendship. I'm kind of getting that, you know, they're very, you know, redrawn from each other because, oh, hey, Chan Sai, I kind of get the vibe that he may feel criticized by Mark. I wonder if Mark is kind of like very, you know, what's the word? Like he, he's kind of like, he may say stuff like, you know, that friend that Nick, picks about everything or criticize you for something i wonder if um he does that to hey chan because with the seven of ones in reverse it lets me know hey chan is kind of feeling like you know judged or criticized by him like in a friendship so maybe it was kind of hard for him to you know make it made challenges come up in their friendship because i feel like he don't like being told what to do with less than unhappiness and he was just like okay you know what i really don't care anymore and i kind of get he has an aggressive side to him too i feel like they both had you know their little energies type of thing where they can be mark can be cold and hey chan can be kind of aggressive with the cards that was pulled for them but then it's kind of like with the hermit i definitely feel like they was like okay so let's just stay away from each other type of thing since we can't get along we probably just might want to stay away from each other and i feel like with the hermit this is something that happens more off of camera rather than on camera obviously on camera they're gonna act like they're friends because that's their job literally so yeah Oh, okay. So we have every card that fell. Okay. Okay, so the cards that flipped over was the Six of Swords in reverse. And this is for the overall, the Tower in reverse. the lovers in reverse yeah this is this harmony separation not really connected the ten of pentacles in reverse the four of swords and the devil in reverse i'm gonna be honest i'm not really getting a true connect connective vibe from them i'm just gonna be honest that's what i'm picking up from their energy right now that is not really them connecting on a level that many people may think behind the scenes i definitely feel like behind the scenes they have all the time in the world to themselves and they're like you're not going to be included in my life so you know it's that type of thing i definitely feel like there's a lot of stuff that happened in the past between them that hasn't been resolved to be honest and i feel like that does contribute to their relationship where it's kind of like that's kind of causing a lot of challenges something from the past that hasn't really they ha somebody or both of them haven't really moved on from kind of seeing this is a very mutual type of thing and i'm kind of being honest i feel like they feel forced to be friends, especially on camera. They're like, oh my God, I'm being forced to connect with this person. Even though I really don't want to connect with this person because we just aren't meant to connect. It's kind of like, 
you know, yeah, like they're being, you know, they, you know, obviously they have to pretend they're friends, at least pretend type of thing. And I'm getting that they really just want to end the whole, th whole thing. Like I'm getting like they want freedom from each other type of thing. I'm just getting they don't get along. It's a lot of obstacles that they don't, you know, and issues that they don't resolve. Like, I feel like they kind of like, especially from Mark's side, I feel like Mark don't have no interest in resolving. He's like, and hey, Chan, too. They're, that's what I'm saying. It's like both of their sides is mutual. They're like, I don't care. I give up on this friendship. I don't care. I give up on this bond. And then Mark is kind of like sitting there, you know, kind of having this nonchalant and cold persona, like, you know, energy towards hey, Chan being like, well, I don't care either type of thing. And it's like, there's no change that's taking place. So it's kind of like, you know, it's like they're avoiding change. It's like they know they're struggling. But then they're like, okay, I don't care. That's what I'm saying. I just get the vibe they don't care. I feel like with the Four of Swords, they rather be alone or, you know, deal with the own, their own issues type of thing. Because I'm just getting the vibe that their energy just is not connectable in a good way. And I'm kind of getting, like I said, it's just going to keep leading to problems if they don't take a step back and figure it out. But I'm getting, like, they don't have to be friends because they are grown adults. They have their own life. And I feel like they both know that. That's why I feel like they both really don't really, they really don't care. But they know on screen, they kind of, they're forced to, you know, comply, be friends. But I'm seeing, like, like I'm saying, they're they're free from each other off of camera. They're not really connected. I'm going to be honest. There's a disharmony, you know, separations, independence. I definitely feel like they focus on their own independent life and independent status versus each other. I don't see a connection, especially with the lovers in reverse. That's a that that's the dead giveaway. That's a broken relationship, you know, relationship issue, you know, friendship issue, separation, everything combined. I definitely feel like, you know, conflict happens, a lot of stuff like that. Everything that isn't good for a friendship. So yeah. I definitely feel like there's a lot of pressure that's constantly on their relationship. Especially on camera, I feel like this this little this image that they have to play on camera really do affect certain relationships because like they're being forced to act this way when they know behind the scenes it's like we're not even like that. Like I said, we're not really you know friends type of thing type of thing. I definitely get a break in the communication where it's like I'm getting they're cutting each other off to be honest. So yeah. And I'm still seeing that they got to let go of whatever happened in the past. I keep getting in the past with a lot of these cards. It's like something happened in the, happened in the past that was huge that put a, a big old strain on their relationship. Where it's like, it's to the point like they're like, I don't care. I don't care. And if they don't, you know, address that, they're not going to get past it. Their relationship is just going to be broken. And I feel like they really don't care. And I feel like they are grown adults. So at the end of the day, they don't have to be friends because they have their own lives. These idols have their own life off of camera where they're not always hanging around each other. They going off to do what they need to do. So yeah, so that's what I'm kind of getting with their um, energy right now. So that's all I get for Mark and Hey Chan. I'm sorry this isn't something y'all want to hear, but this is what I honestly picked up. Like I said, we can't be deceived by these idols' images, thinking like, oh, they're best friends, and then reality, they're like, we don't even hang out behind camera. So it's kind of like that type of thing. So that's what I'm getting with their energy. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and you can always request in the comment section down below. But make sure to be patient and respectful, and tune into my next video. Bye.